All right, so here's the 3B. We're getting ready to pull it in the shop and tear the body off. As you can see, the body is pretty well junk. We're gonna try to save the firewall and the whole dash. So we're basically gonna build body, new body, from uh, this line down, depending on what that looks like when we tear it apart. Probably put that out. People love that. Catch is on fire. Oh, it's totally on fire. In the well, this went. <laughs> Are you okay? Come oh, through okay. here. You got four drives on fire. Huh? Uh, <laughs> so our Jeep has got a piece of wood in it that is soaked in fuel. So we got to get that pulled out of there before we do much more. <laughs> All right. So we're slowing down a little bit and uh, cleaning this up before we go on, so we don't catch anything else on fire. This, this, this is fast dad right here. There he is. He just can't wait for, even for help. Ah! <laughs> Here's kind of the first look at the frame. Get everything off. The frame looked fairly decent early on. It is very dirty and obviously the back section is bad. The brackets on the inside here that go to the frame are still in good enough shape and the floor in that area is good enough. So we take the fender off, we cut the complete forward piece off. going through popping all the spot welds, drilling them out, and then kind of prying it off a little at a time. So it looks like I got one or two more right down here. Yay! A lot of junk there. This is all bad. The floor's been layered. So they put a new floor over the top of the old floor. So we're gonna try to get it back down. And you can see the original color, dark green. So this is supposed to be a nice line that's usually open, but you can see they leaded it. See how soft it is? I can just gouge it. So this is all lead right here. finished up the floors, getting them all cut out, uh, repaired the bottom of that dash support, still have to do that one. Once those are done, we can actually put the panels, the new panels on.
Here is the hammer form set up for the quarter panel. This is set up to do right or left. And unfortunately, we didn't have three quarter inch thick steel. So we, we made it, Ted made it out of quarter inch plate and then add it uh, right there, a half inch plate. That half inch plate is actually bolted on so it can be taken on and off and put from one side to the other. Then back here, we've got the radius, the rear radius for the Jeep. So we actually bent this, this little bend in the brake, put it in the brake and bent that. And now we're, we got it clamped and then we'll hammer form that down and around, hopefully without any trouble. So here's how this form was made, quarter inch plate, the main plate, half inch plate bolted on so it can be flipped around. And then when we get back here into this piece, this one comes off and then that one will slide down a little bit and then we can pop them out. So this is our front, front section form. So the plywood would just kind of flatten on top of it. Here's one that was kind of a test piece just to check and see how it worked out. So we'll just kind of hammer it down so it's steel. Sorry, I was a little close. So that piece is steel, quarter inch, again, similar to the other one, and then add it in some thickness there to pound that around. And so when you're done, you kind of get that. So it just sits on the form like that. We've made all the modifications, and we have the tub now bolted down to the frame. And then on the front here, we actually have it sitting on the mount and we just put uh, some clamps on it to hold it in place there. Made a little filler piece for there. We're gonna tack it in and then start to adjust everything to kind of come together. We've got three quarter inches of plywood under it to um, basically simulate the, the hat channel that would be under it. Try to cancel it. Okay, so we have the whole body kind of uh, in place, just clamped in right now. There are the sides. This is, this is new, even though it's a little rusty. As we mentioned earlier, it was built a while ago. So what do you think, boys? Okay, so this is our first full body we've ever tried to build. All the parts are hammer formed by us, as you saw in some of the other videos. So we're basically just doing uh, spot welds from the back side and then kind of hammering them in a little bit. So you can see that it stayed nice and tight there. A little bit more welding there just to firm it up a little. Some spot welds there. We gotta work the radius around. We'll be doing that at some point. We've got a little piece of floor in, and we're gonna be finished tying that together. Uh, that'll be our next thing once the sides are done. So that side's still clamped a little bit. So we're gonna get it all tacked in and then kind of firm everything up. Double check some measurements here in just a minute to make sure it's still square. But there it is.
Okay, our first tail light panel is going in. And Ted's fabricating up the next one. And so it is starting to look pretty good. So this is the final day of our project. So four days that we worked on it, we did just uh, de-rust that back bed section to get it all cleaned up for this, for this final viewing. It's all uh, tack welded together. It's not going anywhere, I'll say that much. It's actually quite firm in the body. The floors are completely in. We do have a little bit of touch up work to do. A little bit more grinding and a little bit more welding but overall we got one little correction we have to make. If you look right there, just need to trim that off. That side sagged on us just a little bit. So we tried to correct everything as good as we could get it. Um, so there it is, four days, basically three sheets of steel that are four foot by 10 foot. There is quite a bit of leftover there's a lot of little scrap pieces, but uh, three sheets of steel, three guys, four days, and we built our own body. All but obviously uh, some of the harder parts in the dash and stuff. So um, if it's something you're thinking about doing, get some measurements off your old one. You can make the forms. We made them out of steel to hammer them. You can do it out of plywood, but you're only going to get maybe a couple panels before that plywood starts busting up. So. Um, anyway, we had the space, had a nice spot, had some days of vacation, and so we got a, got a Jeep out of it. So there it is. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and everything that got done.